When it comes to lighting a person or an object in our videos, most people will think that the most important piece of gear is the lights. While I don't deny that, I think the next thing that must go along with your COB or panel light is this thing, a diffuser. But what is the use of one of these things? And with at least 8 to 10 different types of diffusers around, which is best suited for you? Hey, it's different to Colin. Let me answer these questions when we pit three of our diffusers to a shootout. In this case, it's the parabolic dome versus the lantern versus the umbrella. Using just the light to illuminate your subject is a bad idea. This is because the light will cast harsh uh, shadows on the person or the object. Worse, it might blind your client or talent from doing crucial things like uh, reading from the teleprompter. You wouldn't want them to screen their eyes while talking in front of the camera, would you? That's why you should use a diffuser and it helps to diffuse the light and soften shadows. It also reduces contrast and thus give out a more flattering look on the client's self. So now that you know what a diffuser is for and you decide to get one, which type is best for you? Well, for our company, we primarily use three types. They are the parabolic, the lantern, and the umbrella. The parabolic resembles an umbrella but has a more rounded profile. Sometimes called a dome, the reflector layer inside it scatters the light and emits them in a directed manner. But with the diffuser layer right at the end, the output light is softened. The main purpose of the parabolic dome is to focus diffuse light on the subject by not spilling the lights everywhere. Now, for our Godox QR P90 or 90cm dome, it likes the talent from head to waist level because it's wide enough. For a 60cm one, it probably is more suitable to light only the face. But anyway, we use our parabolic dome mainly on our key light. But it does take a bit of time to set it up as uh, we have to pull up uh, each one of the rods every time we use it. But compared to most other studio soft boxes, right, setting up this one is really simple already. I mean, the QR in the model stands for quick release anyway. Oh, if you must know, this model costs just uh, $165. Well, really value for money in my opinion. Okay, now over to the uh, lantern. One of my crew members call this an onion because it, well, it sure does look like one, doesn't it? This particular model that we use is called the Godox CS65D and it costs just $85. It's 65 cm in diameter and it's great uh, for casting omnidirectional lighting. And best of all, it's pretty easy to set up. Just push down and hook the central spine to the frame. And because it's smaller than our parabolic dome, right, we mainly use this onion uh, on our field lights as it causes spills in all directions, doing a great job in further softening shadows. But because of this omnidirectional lighting, bear in mind that the lantern's uh, row isn't really well suited for the key light unless you want to light up everything from the subject to the foreground, to the background, and even the ceiling. Now, okay, onto the third uh, diffuser in our arsenal, which is the umbrella. Now, this one that we have here uh, doesn't have a modern name as it costs like what, $10 through Lazada, maybe even cheaper. But it doesn't mean that if it's cheap, it cannot do the job of diffusing light. I mean, in theory, as long as we have a layer of diffuser in front of the light, right? Be it a piece of rice paper or even regular writing paper, light is diffused. So why not a humble white colored umbrella like this one? Anyway, don't confuse the reflector umbrella with this one. The reflector umbrella is designed to have light reflected on them and bounce the light onto the subject. So it expands the size of the light source and the resulting light has a broader, softer quality compared to a bare flash. Yes, reflector umbrellas are more uh, used more in photography than videos. So in our case, right, our umbrella is literally a plain white translucent umbrella through which light passes through. So now, let me show you how these three diffusers work and 
uh, you can decide for yourself which is best for you. So there you have it, the shootout among the parabolic, the lantern, and the umbrella diffusers. Now if you ask me, each one of these have a slightly different use. The parabolic dome is used when we need to direct diffuse light onto a subject, while the lantern scatters light everywhere in all directions. The umbrella, well, it's really a good standby too, in case we don't have any more diffusers and we desperately need to use one but we'll never use it as the main diffuser in our client shoot as it's just not effective enough. Okay, let me know in the comments which one is for you. And if you think that we have helped you uh, in deciding which diffuser is better for you, hey, help us by liking this video and subscribing to the channel, okay? So make sure to turn on notifications too as there are more shootouts in the subsequent episodes coming along. So I'm different to Colin. Why be different when you can be different? I'll see you in the next episode.